Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm and this is weeks seven and eight in digital business applications. For the next two weeks, we are gonna be completing your second power standard for this class. For the last two weeks, we worked on your first power standard, which was the, uh, uh, the um, uh, I'm blanking on the name. Oh, the, 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 the workplace, the, the new employee handbook. That's what it was. Sorry, just slipped my mind there for a second. So the new employee handbook, we completed that in the last two weeks. For this two weeks, we are going to be creating an oral presentation. You are going to be writing and developing and presenting an oral presentation. Now, luckily, you don't have to present it in front of the entire class. Uh, you can, you have some options. Um, for some of you, this is going to be incredibly easy. You are fully comfortable with giving presentations. Others, this is going to seem like a fate worse than death. I get it, right? Some, some people are just incredibly scared of talking in front of people. So there are some options you have. First, I want you to look at the workplace communications lesson. That's going to teach you a little bit about how to communicate more effectively in the workplace. Then I want you to uh, take a look at the how to give an oral presentation lesson. That is me kind of telling you exactly what you need to do in order to do well on this assignment. And then I want you to start putting together your oral presentation. So let's talk about the requirements here. For this assignment, you're going to give a five minute oral presentation on the topic of your choice. Your choice. It can be any topic you, you'd like. You know, make it something you're already learning about in another class. Um, I just want to see your presentation skills and style. This presentation must be professional and you must include visual aids. So either use PowerPoint or Google Slides or if you have some graphs that you want to show, uh, you know, however you want to do that. It has to include some visual aids. Now, um, you can record yourself giving this presentation at home and then upload that video to this assignment for credit. That is fully acceptable. So if you're a student learning at home um, or if you just don't want to give a presentation in, to me, uh, either in the middle of class or before school or after school or, you know, whenever, um, you can record yourself at home. Just have your mom film, you know, on your phone, on her phone or whatever. Uh, make sure your visual aid is within the shot so that I can see the visual aids. If you are going to use visual aids and they're in your video, probably also upload the video aid to this assignment as well so I can go through them as I'm watching your presentation. That's always very helpful. Um, you could give the presentation during class time. You can literally come up to my desk during class. Mr. Storm, I'm ready to give my oral presentation. Great. I will let you pull up the slides on my computer and you can go through and I'll be your slide clicker and you can stand at my desk and give your presentation. If you want to stand at the podium and give your presentation, that's fine too. Um, you can take over the podium and project your visual aid right on the, right on the wall there if, if that's what you want to do, um, you know, by all means. Uh, it's completely up to you how this is accomplished is my point, okay? Figure out what's most comfortable, comfortable for you and then uh, implement that plan. Now, if none of these options seem doable to you, come talk to me as soon as possible so that we can figure out together how best you can complete this assignment, okay? Now make sure you study this rubric carefully so you can see exactly how this is going to be graded. Um, for example, if you do not use visual aids at all, you're going to you're going to lose 10 points on a 50 point assignment. That's a big chunk. OK, so let's make sure that we're reviewing this rubric and we're we know what we're expected to do. OK, um, I'm going to let you go ahead and get started with the lessons and then start coming up with an idea and producing your oral presentation. Please let me know if you have any questions about the content for this week or about what you're expected to do. Um, and uh, if not, I can't wait to see the presentations you guys give. This is one of my favorite projects that we do, and um, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. So uh, I will see you in the next term, huh? This is going to be great. Next term is going to be so fun too, by the way. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to let you go. Okay, peace.